Hello and welcome to Informatica Supports Video KV session. This is Karthik Rajendran. In this session, we are going to see how to import a data transformation library and create a library project. So, a prereq for this session is to have the data transformation studio installed and to basically know what a data transformation library is. A data transformation library is nothing but a set of out-of-the-box projects which is given to the customers so that they can just plug in a source file and convert it to XML and vice versa. For this example, I have chosen a HIPAA library project and it works the same way for any other library like Swift or Nacha, etc. So we'll be seeing a couple of things in this video. The first part is importing the data transformation library using the DP Studio. And the second part is once the library is imported, how to create the library project. So let's go for the demo now. So I have my data transformation studio open and to import the library what we have to do is go to help and go to data transformation libraries and click on add update and usually when you request for a data transformation library a zip file will be sent to you so browse and go to where the zip file is and this is the zip file i'm going to import basically this is the HIPAA library which I'm going to import. So select the file and go to next. Here it will show the library name, the version of the library, etc. And do next. And here you have the option to import whichever version of the library you want. For our case, since it's just a demo, I will import the 5010A1 alone so that it doesn't take a lot of time. But it's up to you to import whichever messages for which you want the DT, DT projects. So let's check 5010A1 and click on finish. And now it will import all the 5010A1 projects and uh, the DT Studio needs to be restarted for this to take effect. So let me go ahead and click S and these restart the DT Studio. Now the Studio is restarted and if we go to Help, Data Transformation Libraries, we can see it shows the imported library, its version, and the status as to whether the import uh, was okay or not. So now we have imported the library. So once the library is imported, where exactly in the file system is it saved? So if you go to the data transformation installation directory, there will be a folder called libraries, which gets created as soon as the first library is imported. If you go into this folder, you can see this uh, HIPAA folder under which you see the 5010A1 folder which we imported and under this we have all the messages for 5010A1 and under each of these messages you can find the projects. So basically like I told uh, earlier uh, these are nothing but out-of-the-box projects which can be used. So basically all you need to do is now create a library project and select the li uh, project for whichever message that you're going to use and just uh, plug in the source file to that particular project and uh, you will be able to convert the HIPAA format into XML and if you use a serializer you can do uh, vice versa basically <laughs> convert the XML file back to HIP. So now we have uh, since we have imported the project uh, sorry, the library. Let's go and see how to create a library project. So all you have to do is go to File, New, sorry, File, New, Project, and you 
usually you will either select a blank project or a parser project depending on uh, what you are doing but this time select the library project so once we select the library project we can give any name here this is just the name of the project here you can uh, see the imported library so expand on hip path of kitten a1 and select any project that you want to create so basically the 834 parser uh, can take in the HIPAA 834 file and uh, convert it to XML file. And let's click next and finish. So now the sample project that I created is available. And all I need to do here is open this and plug in an example source and this project is good to go. So like I said, this is out of the box project where nothing needs to be done. You just plug in the source file and you are good to go. You'll be able to run the project and get the XML output. So that's it for the demo. So basically in this video, we saw how to import a data transformation library using Studio. And once the library is imported, we saw how to create a sample project. And for more uh, references, you can refer to Knowledge Base article number 33257 to see how to import a data transformation library. Thanks for watching the video. We would love to hear back from you. Uh, you can give your feedbacks by emailing to supportvideos at informatica.com or you can also get back to us on Twitter at twitter.com slash infosupport. Thank you.